And right now at 4 o'clock, here it is, a very important day for space exploration as we take a look. SpaceX hopes to again launch its Starship rocket. As you can see, it just blasted off, and it's going to plan on catching its heavy booster in midair. It could happen again uh, if everything right. goes well in the next couple of minutes. Exactly. Here. This is their basically trying to duplicate what they did last month and really the entire world was watching as this happened. Um, what's going to happen in just a few minutes is the Starship, which really is the world's largest, most powerful rocket at 400 feet. It's a mega rocket. It is going to separate from the booster, the rocket. Booster and ship, avionics, power and telemetry nominal. So it's, it's going to continue over the Gulf of Mexico and eventually the, the rocket part, the first part of it is yeah. going to splash down in the Indian Ocean. The booster, what they're hoping will happen in less than seven minutes from now is exactly what happened last <laughs> month. Which was amazing to see, it by the way. It just looks a like, you have to wonder, yeah. this. it looks like AI, something that was it, created it by a you know Pixar lab or something. And But it's going to return back to the launch pad upright and get captured by those massive crane. Yes, exactly. And it, it really is something point, to behold. And that, that is what it's all about, is the recapturing of the booster, sure. because that is what space exploration is all about now, because it's going to save so much money. And they're hoping that eventually they're going to be able to use this to send so astronauts to right, the moon right, right. and eventually to Mars. So this is just a series of, of launches. Uh, by the way, folks, if you're just joining us live here at 4 o'clock, uh, we are watching this uh, along with you for the first time here, uh, the first time today. This is, of course, SpaceX's launch uh, of the, uh, the Starship rocket. Again, the sixth Text, uh, test flight, five other flights so uh, previously, uh, and every time, you know, it gets it gets better and better. And like you said, uh, Karen, the ultimate the goal here Again, is to be able to send, send astronauts into space uh, and to command. have um, hardware that is reusable, right? right? Because up until this point, we haven't Can seen that. Just the cheers. <laughs> I mean, this is something to see. It's you know, it's it, it is exciting. You know. Yeah, you don't have to be a science nerd to get excited about it. It's no. really thrilling. Uh, what doing. And usually, you know, I think uh, for for so many of us that grew up watching these kinds of launches uh, being mm -hmm. done by NASA, it, it, it says something when you see private companies also uh, joining in, uh, in 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 this endeavor, right? And so. Uh, here again, SpaceX, as it, most people heard, know, is owned by Elon Musk, and uh, he is, is become a, has protect? become a strong ally of uh, President-elect Trump, who is there, is and there's the separation. Yeah, I think that's... So, the President-elect, yep, and the, uh, again, so the rocket is going to continue over the Gulf of Mexico and into the Indian Ocean eventually, and that booster is on its way back. But the President-elect made it the trip to the views. I got a uh, South Texas oh, for this Texas. launch. Yeah. yeah, just outside of Brownsville. Uh -huh. uh, I believe that's uh, Texas Senator Ted Cruz flanked uh, over on his right side. Uh, I think they just zoomed in on uh, on Donald Trump there, but uh, I think that I think that was him off to the side. But you're right. Uh, I guess what we'll see next is there is the return uh, of the rocket. And folks, if you haven't seen this before, I mean, really, th th this is something to really, really uh, watch because uh, I mean, it'll it'll leave your jaw open right. and you it see just how far science and technology has come for this thing to come back upright if it does come back successfully mm -hmm. the way it did last time uh, again it, it comes back upright right into the exact spot where it blasted off from into the arms of, of those cranes right and for those who are wondering this is an unmanned spacecraft they're not yes, ready they're not right. at that point yet where they're uh, they're ready to put a manned uh, crew on that rocket but they're launching it too that this is the first time they're doing it in the afternoon um, because they say that there are better conditions for visual sure, observations, at least right now, this time of year, than there are in the morning when they normally the, launch these. Yeah. Uh, hot stage well, we're and this is the sixth one as we continue, as we yeah. mentioned earlier. And I think we're going to continue to watch this just for a little bit longer <clears throat> here um, as we give you a live look of everything that's going on. It's also interesting to kind of hear, uh, you know, some of the, the, the background, the communications that's taking place. If you guys just want to listen here for a couple of seconds. Well, and pared down to three engines right before booster catch. All right, now just real quick, we did hear the call out, uh, boost back, or excuse me, booster offshore divert. Unfortunately, that means that we are no go for the catch. Um, as we said wow, before, okay. both the tower and the vehicle, as well as the operators on console have been actively evaluating the commit criteria for that return to the launch tower. Um, and unfortunately, we did not have a pass on those commit criteria. So we are no go for tower catch. Okay. And we did mention that we're constantly evaluating the criteria for catch. There's a lot of things that need to go well in order to line that up. Unfortunately, today yep. we will forego booster catch today. But 
what you're seeing on your screen is ship uh, currently making its way towards the Indian Ocean, still looking good so far. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So, so there you have it. We have a successful launch, a successful separation, but it looks like it is a no go for the the recapture of the right. booster, which was the goal of this uh, of this launch. But again, with the Mega Rocket. You know, what's interesting with all of these test flights is that they always have a different set of uh, circumstances that sure. they have to deal with. Obviously, it was perfect last time on the fifth launch for it to come back uh, to be caught in the arms. But again, uh, that's not going to be the case today. Uh, we're going to keep a real close eye on that uh, on 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 that. Uh, uh, I was going to say experiment. <laughs> On right. the blast but, off, I, again, uh, on the reason, launch. There's a reason it's unmanned. Right, exactly. And, exactly. Uh, and we'll, we'll bring you the very latest just as soon as we get new pictures and new details to share with you.